Yes, it was, it was just after, well, it was leading, leading up to Christmas, and if I remember correctly, it was when I was still 69. Can you believe it? I was actually 69 years old once upon a time. Leading up to Christmas, and I opened the Mail and Guardian, that's the name of the newspaper, and there was this very prominent article about a woman who I subsequently discovered was called Pumla Lolwana, who with her four children <clears throat> committed suicide by standing on railway tracks and waiting for the train, commuter train, to dis obliterate them, all five of them. It seemed to me such a shocking example of the sort of despair that people lived with in those appalling squatter camps that you find now outside even the smallest little towns in South Africa. I immediately felt, as I have many times with images or with incidents or with stories in newspapers, because it's not the first time that a newspaper story got me thinking about the possibility of a play, of dealing with that issue, not out of vanity or conceit or anything like that, but just trying to bear some sort of witness to what was happening to people in my country. I read it very carefully, cut it out, and I put it in my notebook. And it was a year later, in fact on my 70th birthday, that I felt the time has come for me to deal with the story now. I tried for about three months day after day to try and get inside the life of that woman and understand why she did a thing like that. Why did she do a thing like that? And what I finally realized was that I was never going to get it right for the simple reason that she had done it as an act of final despair. She had no hope left. I am by nature an optimist. I always try to find the good possibility in any situation that I've been in. So many times I've felt almost defeated, but I've never actually lost my connection with life itself and with a reason for waiting for tomorrow. And so I abandoned it. And a couple of months went by and then one day I suddenly thought to myself, but you know, she and her children weren't the only elements in that story. There was also the man who drove the train, the train driver, the man at the control of that train as it crashed into her and the children, killing them all. And suddenly that was different. I mean, I knew I could get inside him. Well, he, he's a man like me to start with. I'm not a mother with four children. There were any of a number of reasons where I could connect with him in terms of experiences in my own life. And the moment I did that, the place started to happen on paper. The moment I did that, I found myself drafting scenes, grabbing images out of the air and putting them into the play, using the experience that I've had of what those squatter camps are like from the outside looking in. But I've been into many of them, but I've always been an outsider to the experience of living in them. But there again, that was a connection with me and him. And slowly but surely, the play took shape and I finally found myself when I could say to my producer in Cape Town, I'm ready to do it now. 